Hello and welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria and today we're going to make tortillas, but this is going to be so easy. I want things that are easy, but I want them to be the best tasting possible. So when sometimes people say it's really easy, I avoid it because I don't always want easy. I want the best tasting and sometimes that's a harder road to take. But in the case of tortillas, it is not. And by the way, I had a seizure this morning. I just came out of it about an hour ago. So if I act any bit odd or different, that would be why. So I can, throughout life at this point, since I have seizures, I can blame all of my issues on epilepsy, which is nice. It's nice to have a reason to say, well, I didn't do that and it's probably because I have seizures. Which, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> sometimes it's just fun to have something to blame my issues on. So, okay, so first things first. First thing we need is the flour. Now, this is 140 grams, which is two actual cup sizes of this flour. In the recipe for the flour, it's 82 grams per cup. However, as far as equaling white flour, one measuring cup is about 70 grams. I'm still working with this. I, I'm going to be saying that for a while. I'm still learning. This flower is just so exciting. It is so exciting. I, I can't get over it. Every time I make something, I'm just so beside myself that it's happening. Like it's my expectations are being met. Like that is just, that's so hard. It's so hard to have your expectations met. When you're trying to make something keto, it just, it's hard, if not impossible. But my expectations are being met and I am extremely excited. So, the first thing that we need is 140 grams of Victoria's Keto Flour. Now, I am putting this into, uh, see, it happens, um, food processor. I am putting the flour into a food processor, 140 grams. On top of that, I'm adding one tablespoon of baking powder, half of a teaspoon of salt, and right here, I have two tablespoons of cold cut up butter. And I'm going to just put it in there. So the first thing we want to do is turn this on high and make sure we blend all of the butter into the flour. Perfect. Okay, everything is well blended. So the butter is blended throughout the flour. And this is the last thing, just water. We need three quarters of a cup of water. So what I'm going to do, I've actually warmed this water up. It's not hot, but it's not cold either. I'm going to turn this on high and I'm going to just pour it in slowly. And from there, I'm going to take it out. Perfect, now we have our dough. Now, the next step is to take the dough out of here. It is going to be a wet, sticky ball of dough. Okay, I am going to flour my hands. All right, oh beautiful, beautiful. It is, it's a little bit sticky, but it's definitely a dough. Like it's still a dough. You do not want this to be dry, okay? You want this moist. All right, perfect. Now, I don't know what this thing is. This is, this has, this is one of those things you use with bread. You can scoop it up off the counter. But I'm going to use this to cut this into eight pieces. All right, just like that. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, from here, we have a lot of fun. So this right here, this is by the brand Victoria, I guess. I'll link it in the description box below. I have nothing to do with this. But this is a tortilla press, okay? This thing is so nice. If you make tortillas, it is worth looking into to consider buying a tortilla press. I'm gonna be very gentle not to break my countertop. Okay, I put an eight inch round piece of parchment paper at the bottom. I'm going to take one of my little tortilla dough balls, set it right in the middle. I'm going to top it with another 
eight inch round parchment paper and then you just press it. Watch this. Here we go. It is so easy. It's so easy. And then I have my griddle here on 325 degrees. I'm just going to lay it on it and let it cook. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get a new one. I'm turning this up to 350. I think I like that better. I like my tortillas to have some brown on them. Okay, so I have just finished all of the tortillas. I wanna bring you close. For some reason, I feel like it smells like popcorn. If any of you guys think that your tortilla smells like popcorn, please let me know. If not, if you don't think yours smells like popcorn, I'm going to blame it on my seizure. Again, I'm going to do that. If you want to make these a little more pliable, you can add egg white into your mixture. I'll bring, Lord willing, I'll bring a whole nother tortilla recipe. This is going to be the simplest, best tasting keto tortilla that you can make without all the extra and more expensive ingredients. This is definitely going to be your fastest, best tasting in that category, okay? I am making tacos for my family tonight. I just had a seizure this morning. I don't want something that's gonna take a long time. I can't. I Today, I can't do it. So, this is just enough. This is eight tortillas with that batch. At 70 grams per cup, this is less than five carbs for all eight tortillas. I missed one. So, all eight of these tortillas is probably more like five carbs. Um, let me bring you close. Let's look at this. So that's it. This is just an easy, simple tortilla. Something fast. Something you don't need a lot of ingredients in. Just, just, just a quick tortilla. And this is exactly what I needed today. So thank the Lord this worked out. This is, this was actually my plan to make for dinner. But seizures are never planned. So the fact that this was on the meal plan, this is a true blessing from the Lord and I'm very thankful. Okay guys, so because of my seizure, I have no appetite. And if I eat anything, it might make me kind of sick. So I have a taste tester here who's going to tell us what the tortillas taste like. What do you think? Like a regular tortilla. Just tastes like a tortilla? It, to me, it smelled like corn. Does it smell like popcorn? Sorry, popcorn. Mm. It smells like popcorn to me. It doesn't to you? No? Okay, it's, it's just me. I'm just weird today. <laughs> okay, I'll taste a little bit. Oh, it's soft. It's very soft. That is just the right amount of salt. No, it doesn't taste like popcorn. That's good, guys. This is good. It's really good. No problems. Uh, it's very soft. Very soft. Um, don't bend it. Don't try and, like, manipulate it until it's cooled. Because if you do, you'll crack it. Um, so wait till it fully cools before you start playing with it and making it pliable. Um, so, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like, we got eight here and, um, awesome. Okay. Yeah. This one, this one, I bent it like I bent it before it fully cooled. Thank you, baby. If you make these, please let me know. Please put it down in the comments below. Please go over to Facebook, post the pictures of the tortillas, maybe even the meals that you make with tortillas. I know there's a meal that I've made before where you take a bunch of tortillas and you lay them at the bottom of a nine by 13 pan, and then you put all of the taco fillings on top of that. Then you top it with tortillas, top that with cheese, and bake it 350 for about 20 minutes. It doesn't have to bake very long because everything on the inside is already cooked. 
and that is so 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 good so if you want to try that too go over to Facebook and post that that is that could be what I do for dinner actually I could just put this all on a nine in a 9 by 13 pan I'll put four at the bottom four at the top hamburger meat cheese I don't you don't want to do lettuce but salsa things like that that would be really good I may change I may change dinner I may change it up a little bit we shall see I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it's a blessing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and you all have a blessed day.